What's up everyone, Jose here with Jammin' Photos. Today we're talking lenses, and not only any lenses, today we're talking vintage lenses. That's right guys, vintage glass. Uh, I got into some uh, film photography not too long ago and I decided, you know what, I got all these lenses for film. I wonder if we can uh, get them adapted and surely we can. All right, this is an FD, so this is for your Canon AE-1s, your Canon AE film cameras, guys. Now, this lens is pretty interesting. You see, the way they used to come out before is they had all the measurements here. There's nothing digital about it. You had all your measurements here for hyperfocal distance, your, uh, your focal distance, your aperture. Everything was manual, guys. And what's cool with these little lenses, look at this. It has its own little hood. They don't make them like they used to, guys. Nice light lens, FD mount. Go ahead and grab one of these. This is an FD to EF um, adapter, okay? Now, when you go get these guys, remember there's a little piece of glass here. Uh, make sure when you look on Amazon or eBay, you get that little glass. I don't know if you can see that there, but um, if you don't have the glass, it just, it won't be native. It won't, it won't show up right. You take this little mount here and you hook it up to your um, FD glass, like so. We just turned this FD into an EF mount, okay? Now, this will fit your uh, EOS, uh, Canon T6s, your Rebels, your 7Ds, your 80Ds, any DSLR uh, EF mount, uh, EFS as well. So this is pretty cool. All right. So this is your 70, I'm sorry, 70 to 150. And this is a uh, variable aperture 4.5 to 5.6. So not a great lens. But um, for some vintage work and some pretty cool nifty shots, pretty cool. Talking about nifty, we have this one here. This is your 51.8. That's right, guys, your nifty 50, your original nifty 50. Back in 1976, 78, this was your nifty 50. Manual, manual focus, manual aperture. Everything was manual. Now, this is one of the uh, AE-1 automatics. So if you see here, if you get a film camera, you see that little A here? This is when it started where you could turn this and put this into your aperture. See that? So when your camera took the photo, it automatically chose the aperture for you with your light meter. Pretty cool, huh? But we're not gonna use that. We're gonna go into manual here. I'm gonna set this lens down for a second. I'm gonna grab my EOS R, which was my Canon mirrorless EOS R. Now here I have the, since this is a, an RF mount, camera i have an rf adapter so rf to ef or ef to rf this one's cool it comes with a little all right drop and filter they're not cheap guys but they're awesome i have an nd filter i have a clear one and this one is a polarizing filter so we're going to take that lens from before that 70 to 150 fd which is already adapted to ef and we're going to put that here how about that guys all right now this lens, when I picked it up, was a couple bucks, I think 30, 40 bucks. Um, the last two years during COVID, price has gone up. I think people have gotten really into it uh, using vintage lenses, but pretty cool. Again, manual zoom, manual aperture, or uh, I'm sorry, focus, and then aperture as well as manual, okay? And your little lens hood, pretty cool little lens. Um, give some nice little vintage shots, guys. So now you gotta focus manually can't change your aperture here automatically so you got to change it manually there we go let's get this shot this looks pretty cool i like this you can always go and review and yep i'm in focus pretty cool first time all right so i'm going to take this one off oh look at that wrong mount it took you got to make sure you take that adapter off we're going to go ahead with the nifty 50 guys Let's see how this one mounts. This one mounts a little differently because it's from the automatic versions of it. There we go. It's mounted and ready to go. Very nice and light. I think this is gonna be great for video, guys. So I can't wait to try this for video. Let's go once again, manual aperture. This one, They're a little tricky with the focus. It's very, very soft around the edges. It's actually very, this is going to be a great portrait lens. I can't wait to see for you guys to see this uh, uh, straight out of camera. It's very milky. It's got a very vintage milky look. Sorry about the sweat, guys. It's warm today. All right, let's take this down for a second. Let's go with one more lens. 
This lens right here, guys, it's for a Pentacon 6. Your Pentacon 6, your Hasselblad medium format cameras, okay? Now, this lens wasn't cheap. This is an RSAT, uh, 80 millimeter, 2.8, pretty good lens. Um, right now, I have it on my Canon T6 Rebel, all right? This is a different uh, adapter than the one I just showed you. This is gonna be a Pentacon 6 adapter. You can see that, EF to Pentacon 6. I do not know what the Pentacon 6 um, mount is called, so I apologize. Uh, I should have done this video when I knew everything, but I don't know everything. I'm, as much as I like to think I know everything, I don't. But uh, so this camera here, this Rebel T6, I actually had converted during COVID, I had converted to an infrared camera, um, which is pretty cool because these lenses, these vintage lenses, now this one is from 1953. Uh, these vintage lenses have no coatings on them, no UV coatings, no type of uh, uh, coatings like the new glass has, the new lenses. So um, it gives me straight light from what I'm seeing to what, you know, what goes in the camera. Uh, which is great for infrared photography. So we're going to take the same shot I took earlier. Ah, oh, let me turn the camera on. That'll help, right? Let's see. Light meter. Beautiful. ISO 100, uh, 1,000th uh, shutter speed, and my aperture I had set at aperture 4, f4. There you go, guys. You have two cameras there. Your mirrorless camera, your... Excuse me, I don't want it to fall. Your mirrorless cameras, you have your EOS uh, DSLR cameras um, with this old glass. Now, like I said, I, I got it pretty cheap uh, past couple years. It's, the price has been going up, but it doesn't mean that, that it's unattain, unobtainable. The uh, 51.8, that nifty 50, um, I saw it on eBay for about 125. You can get an EF for 125, uh, but you get the coatings and it's it's newer, it's automatic. It's, you know, it's not manual. So, um, Try your flea markets. Try your uh, your your garage sales. Uh, go online. Take a look. A lot of people are having estate sales. Check grandpa. Maybe grandpa. Maybe your friend's grandpa has one of these cameras laying around. I was fortunate enough a couple years ago, uh, just before COVID, as a matter of fact, a good friend of mine, uh, Kenneth, uh, told me, hey, you're into film. You really got into it. I, f I develop my own film. I take film photos. Um, he says, I have one laying around. He had a camera with three lenses, uh, remote shutter, uh, with the receipt still in the box. The store is no longer in, in, in existence, but the receipt is still in the box. 1979, I believe, he purchased it. Um, I have the camera on my shelf. I have that box put away in a nice airtight. I don't want to damage that. Um, you know, it's very near and dear to me. Um, if I ever sell my film cameras, I'm not going to get rid of that one. It's a Minolta SRT. Uh, hopefully, I could find a mount for the SRT because I have a few lenses for that as well. And uh, maybe I could have a, an adapter and a mount. Until then, I'm gonna take a couple shots here, guys. Let's see what I'm looking at here. Oh, wrong way. Turn that gimbal. I'm gonna take a couple shots of that, and uh, I'm gonna show you straight out of camera. Uh, with the infrared, straight out of, straight out of camera, I'm just gonna show you red. So I'll show it to you anyway, and uh, then I'll throw the edited versions in there. So until next time, guys, some vintage lenses. You know, they're manual focus, they're manual aperture, but they're fun. They're, they're great to hang around with, and, and go give it a shot. Until then, keep shooting, be creative, and love one another, guys. Out.